Okay, you guys stop for X real quick, right? So we have a triangle here, triangle here. This is X, this is X square, and uh, this is X to the third power. In this video, I'll show you guys how to solve the beast triangle. So here we go. Right here, I'll draw the triangle again. So this is the right triangle, this is the right angle, this is X, this is X square, and this right here is X to the third power. Notice the sides, they actually form a geometric sequence, which is really cool. And to solve X right here, and assuming we're actually going to get a triangle, okay? We can just use the Pythagorean theorem. Namely, we get parentheses, square the first side, and then we add it with square the second side, which is x squared, and then we just have to square the third side, which is x to the third power, like so. With that being said, we just get what? Yes, x squared plus x to the fourth power, that's equal to x to the sixth power. And notice that, again, because we want a triangle, so x cannot be zero, otherwise you just get a dot. And then we want x to be greater than zero, right? So keep that in mind, and with that being said, we can just divide everybody by x squared, so we end up with 1 plus x squared, that's equal to x to the fourth power. Now clean things up, I will keep the x to the fourth power, right, so I'll look at that as x squared and then square. move this to the other side, we have minus x squared, and then minus 1, that's equal to 0. You see, this is a quadratic equation in terms of x squared, so we can just use the quadratic formula, we know that x squared is going to be equal to negative, negative 1, so it's going to be positive 1, and then plus only, because again, we want everything to be legit. And then you open the square root, b squared, which is negative 1 squared, which is positive 1, and then minus 4 times that times that, which is going to be plus 4. So it's just 1 plus 4, which is 5, and then all over 2 times 1, which is 2. Yes, the golden ratio. x squared is equal to the golden ratio. So x is equal to the square root of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. But of course, that's ready more uh, legitimately, which is the square root of the golden ratio. And that's it. Whoa. Wow. Well, this is like the first one that I think is actually almost perfect. Oh my god, what do you think? No!